Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Mathematical Toolbox. Today we've got a subscriber request, but before we get into it, I want to encourage you all to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Also, if you have any other requests, anybody at all, be sure to drop them down below and I'll get to them in uh, first come, first serve order. Uh, at this point, we're, we've got videos for about two weeks now, so uh, be sure to drop your comment below as soon as possible if you want me to start working on uh, a particular book for a particular subject. So let's get into it. The subscriber requested optimization of any kind, so I decided to go with calculus of variations. Here we've got applied calculus of variations for engineers, third edition by Lewis Comsec. This book cost me about 50 bucks on Amazon. As far as prerequisites go, I would say multivariable calculus, linear algebra, partial differential equations, some physics. Now you can skip over some of those physics sections and chapters if you so wish. As far as I could tell with the book, it wasn't required. Something that makes the book unique, honestly, just the fact that it's straight to the point, it omits a lot of technical detail. Something that I dislike about the book, sometimes I think it can, the writing can feel lazy. So here we go, the first chapter. In just a few pages here, the author derives the Euler-Lagrange differential equation. And from what I've seen, that's nothing you're going to get in any other book. A lot of other books, what they tend to do is go over a lot of mathematical detail. They want to talk about function spaces and all that. Not here. Very quickly, he gets into just the main concepts of calculus of variations. One thing that very, irritated me very much when reading the book, look at this here. We're on, I don't know what page this is, like eight, nine, exactly. And this is the first numbered equation that we've got here on Beltrami's formula. He references the Euler-Lagrange differential equation, and he did not bother to number it. Look, this is just something that irritated me when I was reading the book, when I was taking notes. It's not that big of a deal, but that's one of the little things that make it feel lazy. Another thing that makes it feel lazy, lack of examples. I think there could be way more examples in the book. There are three in 30 pages. Now, another thing, right here in particular, I wasn't a student that needed to use multivariable calculus for my work in university or afterwards. so. Maybe this is just something that I don't remember from when I took multivariable calculus, but this right here, this didn't really make sense to me, I'll be honest, but it really wasn't all that important in terms of being able to solve problems or do some of the problems in this book. Now, here on this section is where he gets into some applications. So this is the problem that basically started this entire field of calculus of variations, the Brachistokrone problem, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. So my physics background isn't very extensive, but I could follow this. I thought it was pretty straightforward. Again, if you don't, if you don't have any interest in physics, you just want the calculus of variations, you can 100% ignore this section and the preceding two sections as well here on Fermat's principle and particle moving in a gravitational field. And he's got one more section here at the end. And then there are the exercises which have solutions at the end of the book. Here, I need to give you all a disclaimer. Honestly, I lost interest in the subject after this first chapter. It's nothing towards the book. If you saw my last video, when I talk about the Debnath book, the red one right there, you'll know that I did not like fractional, I don't like fractional partial differential equations. Like it's just, they're just types of problems that I personally don't like working on. So I have not read the rest of this, but I skimmed through it to find some important sections or some sections that I think engineers would find important. So that's the end of my disclaimer there. So here, chapter five, the inverse problem. 
I think the engineers would find this useful as applications to partial differential equations. Same this chapter here on analytic solutions, also some partial differential equations applications. And there is a section here on approximation and numerical methods that I think you all would also find interesting. Second half of the book on modeling applications. Here he gets into some differential geometry. Uh, the next chapter he goes over computational geometry. I think the end here of this chapter has this section here on industrial applications that I think you all would find motivating in terms of trying to read this book or being interested in reading this book. And here he gets into some, I don't know if it's technical, but I never got to classical mechanics, which is, well, I guess it's extended to quantum as well, but I never really talked about or learned about Hamilton's equations, things like that. I saw some orbital motion stuff, which seemed pretty interesting, fluid motion, analytic mechanics here. Again, if you want to understand everything in this book, you're going to need those four or five things that I said in the beginning. For the first chapter, you pretty much just need multivariable calculus. As it, the book goes on, you will need more linear algebra, ordinary differential equations, and then partial differential equations, and that should be sufficient. But if you want to take advantage of all of those physics applications, of course, you're going to need some physics. I believe he says here in the back of the book and in the preface that the book was originally intended for those in industry, so the professional, the practicing engineer. So it's kind of assumed that you already know all of that. But yeah, hopefully you all find this book interesting. I thought it was awesome, the first chapter. I thought it was unique. I saw, I've seen nothing like that first chapter in any other book. They kind of just want to force feed you function spaces in every single book on calculus variations I've seen. Maybe not every single, but a lot of them do. So yeah, I like this one a lot. I hope you all find it useful as well. You all that are engineers, let me know if you, th if you think this is useful to you or will be useful to you. I've got a couple of more videos or a few more videos that subscribers have requested uh, topics are on or me to do book books for so yeah i've got foy series coming up complex analysis after that i've got a book on discrete math as well coming up and then uh, another subscriber asked me for some a domain decomposition uh, uh, non-linear differential equations so yeah if you've got requests leave them down below First come, first serve. Like I said, we're about two weeks out now. So if you've got a request, it's gonna, you're going to have to wait a little bit. Uh, but yeah, that'll do it for this one. See ya.